Hi friends, hope all are doing great. Today's our topic is types of data structure. Data structures can be classified into two types, linear data structure, non-linear data structure. In linear data structure, elements are arranged in sequential order. In non-linear data structure, elements are arranged randomly. Examples of linear data structure, array, stack, queue, linked list. Examples for nonlinear data structure, graphs and trees. Linear data structure. The data structure that allows the data elements to be arranged in sequential or linear fashion. Okay. Here each element is attached with next and previous element. Data Linear data structure only has one level and performs linear searching in data structure. All the elements in linear data structure are used in a, stored in a sequential order. That means they are stored in one level. So it is easy to perform the linear searching. Therefore, we can traverse all the elements in a single run. What is the meaning of traverse visit? Visiting of elements. Okay. Computer memory is arranged in linear fashion. Linear data structures are easy to implement. Examples are array, stack, queue, and linked list, etc. What is array data structure? An array is a group of similar elements or data items of same type. Here, int is a data type. Array is the name of the array. 10 is the size of the array. These are the array, array elements. See. 35, 33, 42. Array indexing starts from 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are all the array elements. Then next, stack data structure. What is the meaning of stack data structure? In stack data structure, elements are stored in LIFO. LIFO means last in, first out. The elements which are entered last will be out first, last in first order. Consider this example. Initially, the stack is empty. First, we are in inserting one element. So, insertion is known as push, push operation. Next, we are entering two elements, then three elements. Now, here we are removing one element. Removing of element is known as pop operation. Example for stock is stack is pile of plates. Pile of plates, collection of plates. The plate which is entered last will be removed first. Then Q data structure. Q data structure in Q data structure, we can perform operation as FIFO. First in, first out. The elements which are entered first will be out first. For example, queue of a people standing in a ticket counter. The person who stand first will get the ticket first. See here. From here we are entering the elements. Here we are removing the elements. The place from where we are entering the elements is known as NQ. This is DQ. This is a front. This is back. From back, we are entering the elements. From front, we are removing the elements. Linked list. Linked list is a collection of nodes connected together via links. These nodes consist of data to be stored and the pointer or address of the next node. Okay. Linked list consists of collection of nodes. See, this is a one node. This is a second node, third node, fourth node. It is divided into two parts, data items and address of the next node. So initially, first data item is stored. Here, the data item is A. Then next, we will store the address of the next node through which we can connect to the next node. Here, we are storing the data of the next node. Then address of the next node. So, last, last node contains the address as null. 
then here the head node contains the address of the first element. This is the example. Linked lists are broadly classified into three types. Single linked list, double linked list, circular linked list. About linked list, we will make some separate video. Just understand the basic concept here. Linked list is a collection of nodes. See, this is one node, this is second node, third node, fourth node. So here the data items are A, B, C, D. Here we store the address of, here in this node we store the address of B node. Here we store the address of C node. Here we store the address of D node. Then here we store null because it is not pointing to the any other node. Head node stores the address of the first node. Okay. Then nonlinear data structure. Nonlinear data structure is a data structure in which elements are under, arranged randomly. Means what? Elements are not stored, stored in contiguous memory or non sequentially. So here elements cannot be traversed or accessed in a single run. If the elements are arranged sequentially, we can traverse in a single run. But here the elements are not arranged sequentially. We cannot traverse in a single run. Okay. The examples of nonlinear data structure are trees and graphs. What is the meaning of tree? Tree is a nonlinear hierarchical data structure that consists of nodes connected by edges. Tree is a collection of nodes and edges. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are nodes. The connection between the nodes is known as edges. See here, A is the root node. Then B, C is the parent node. This is a child node. And this is one subtree. This is a leaf node. The node which don't have any further connection is last nodes are known as leaf nodes. These are sibling nodes. So here the level is level 0, level 1, level 2, level 3. Then graph data structure. A graph data structure is a collection of nodes that have data and are connected to other nodes through edges. Okay. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 are the vertices. And these are the edges. In, in graph we can have edges. See, more than one edges. But tree, trees are connected with see, only one edge to the one vertices. But here we can have more vertices to the edges. See, one is connected, vertex one is connected with 4, 3, 2, 0. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe. Have a great day.